This is Matrix Lord 212, and I'm reviewing Amazing Spider Man number 24. Okay, so here is the villain. Um, we're going to call him Kindred. That's what he wants to be called. Although he's, he is someone that Peter Parker knows. Could he be a dead Ben Riley that's a villain? Could he be another villain that's dead? I don't know. Um, but we, we start off with Mysterio. Well, actually, we start off with Spider Man with Mary Jane. He made like a spider hammock. And they're chilling, just spending time together, I guess, in Central Park or whatever. And, uh, you know, they're, they're just spending time together. And then the cop sees them and they have to leave and they go home. And he decides to go to sleep. And then we see Mysterio talking in Ravencroft to um, the psychologist. And the guy's asking him about when he died. And this fascination with hell, that he keeps going to hell. Like, talking about hell, he keeps trying to make people see different things with hell. And he says he did die, and that there was a there was a, a prisoner there also that took advantage of him and bullied him. And basically, he was responsible for bringing him back to life, I guess. Um, and the guy's like, say his name, say his name. And then all of a sudden, the guy appears, the demon, and the psychologist sees him and runs. Uh, and Peter Parker also sees it because he's sleeping. So... The, guy, the villain decides to kill Mysterio and then say he's sorry. And then he says, did you see that, Pete? You know, and he's talking to Peter Parker. And he's like, you know, don't let the bandages fool you. Um, that's part of the disguise, I guess. And, you know, he's not ready for him to know who he is just yet. But he's like, if you, instead of calling me a stupid nickname, you can call me Kindred. Um, and, you know, Peter Parker woke up and... Started telling Mary Jane about all the stuff with the visions and stuff, and that he saw this this villain, that he's real, and the nightmares. I thought it was good. Um, I was actually expecting more. Uh, you know, I, I guess they built him up to dramatic proportions, and when we actually got to see him, I'm like, oh, okay. You know, it's weird. Um, I don't like the way Mysterio looked with his face seeing through the like the, the fishbowl. Like, they never do that. So why are you drawing him like shit? You know, and I, I like the way, you know, Oatley draws. But, like, I don't like the way he drew Mysterio there. Like, it looked retarded and stupid. Um, or whatever word. I, I can't, Even if I used to use that word, he just looked stupid or whatever. He didn't look good. Okay? Um, and... I don't know, man. It just and there was a little story at the end, and uh, like with with the carnage symbiote eating a bird or something. Uh it was okay. The book was good. It wasn't. It wasn't great. Because again, they build this up like and for for like twenty four issues, and now it's like I don't know, meh. Not that it's meh, but I don't know. I was expecting better. I mean, they drew him better. The cat, the villain they drew better before. He's not drawing that great this time, and I don't know. I was expecting more, and I'm kind of pissed that they kill Mysterio now because this sucks. Unless they bring him back, which I hope they do. All right, guys, that's my review. Take care, bye for now.